Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to add a custom character to the new uh, third person combat template in Unreal Engine 5.6. Well, let's walk through it step by step. Uh, in the new version of uh, Unreal Engine, every template has a drop down with uh, different gameplay styles. It can be a bit confusing at first. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll choose the third-person template combat variant, but you can use any other. The process will be almost the same. We'll use a method called reparenting. It lets us combine the logic uh, of the combat character with our custom features all inside a single blueprint. Uh, but let us start uh, by loading uh, the combat level. I'll be using our US NATO soldier configurator, one of our latest character packs available on the Fab Marketplace. You'll find the link in the description. Of course, you can use any compatible character. Once uh, the character is imported, open its blueprint, go to class settings and set BP combat character and the new parent class. And this allows our custom character blueprint to inherit all the combat functionality. Next, uh, remove any input logic from the BP NATO soldier US. From now on, input will be handled by the parent class. On begin play, don't forget to call the uh, parent function. That way everything initialized properly. In the mesh component, assign the uh, combat animation blueprint. Uh, since our character is rigged to the many simple skeleton, uh, the animations are fully compatible. Now open the combat game mode and replace the default combat character with our BP NATO Soldier US. Ok, we can control the camera. And that's a good sign. Uh, that means input is working. Uh, but the bad thing is our character isn't moving. Well, let's find out why. In the parent blueprint, the mouse look input mapping is applied correctly on the on possess event. That explains um, the walking camera, but I don't see where the combat input mappings are set. Uh, let's go back to BP NATO Soldier US. We'll check if the combat input context is active. Let us get a player controller, access the enhanced local input subsystem and print a debug message showing whether the combat mapping is set.
and just as expected it is not uh, the debug returns fail so let's fix it we'll add uh, the combat input mapping context uh, directly in uh, begin play replace the debug with the actual assignment Compile the blueprint and press play again. Now the character moves uh, great, but something still feels off. It seems like the character can move backward while still facing forward. That's not what we want. Let's compare our blueprint with the default BP combat character. In boss, in the movement component, the orient rotation to movement option is disabled. Uh, let's check one more thing. But in class defaults, only the combat character has a use controller rotation yaw enabled. Well, let's enable it in BP NATO Soldier US, compile and uh, test it again. Perfect. Now the character turns in the correct direction while running. The only issue left is the animation. It feels slightly off. Uh, that's because the default combat animations are more suited for a female character. I probably should have used uh, our female soldier version for this demo. We have that one as well. Okay, that's it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, leave a like and consider subscribing for more Unreal Engine content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.